Nationals hosting the Red Sox, and the Red Sox are minus 169 on the money line. The Nationals are plus 148. The over-under is nine runs. The Red Sox, laying a run and a half on the run line, are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by at least two runs. The Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 115, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win they lose by one, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. So if you like a certain team or if you like a certain pitcher, I suggest that you select the pitcher, especially if you're going to bet overnight. So this way, if the odds change or they change the pitcher, at least you get locked into who you want. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Red Sox are 5-5 five and five as a team in Paxton's last 10 appearances. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched and 5.4 strikeouts per game in those games. The under has hit in his last three games, although the under is 3-2 and two in his last five. He's got an ERA of 2.6. He's averaging 4 and two-thirds innings pitched, and the Red Sox are 2-3 and three in his last five starts. He's thrown over 100 pitches once, but in his last four outings, he's been at least in the 90s, which is nice if you're looking for a guy to go deeper in the games now no earned runs six strikeouts 98 pitches four earned runs four strikeouts 94 pitches one earned run five strikeouts 104 pitches two earned runs seven strikeouts uh 96 pitches and then the game where he did bad six earned runs four strikeouts 63 pitches they and they 86 him pretty early he did pitch against the nationals in 2020 and the red sox um he was actually with the Yankees at that point. And the Yankees lost that game 9-2. to two. He gave up three earned runs and struck out one. So I completely forgot that he was a Yankee way back in the day. Um, for the Nationals, Gore, they are 5-5 five and five as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging four and two-thirds innings pitched and 5.1 strikeouts per game in his last 10 appearances. In his last five starts, they are 3-2. and two. He's got an ERA of 3.2 and he's averaging five and a third innings pitched. He has not pitched against the Red Sox at all, ever. This is his first one. The under has hit in his last four games. The under is four and one in his last five starts, and he has thrown over 100 pitches once. Six earned runs, five strikeouts, 83 pitches. Two earned runs, five strikeouts, 89 pitches. Three earned runs, two strikeouts, 95 pitches. No earned runs, eight strikeouts, 90 pitches. And then five earned runs, six strikeouts, 106 pitches. Head-to-head, -head, the road team is on a four-game winning streak. The Red Sox are 8-2 and two against the Nationals in their last 10. The Red Sox are on a six-game winning streak against them. The Red Sox, forgive me, are 9-1 and one against them. The road team is 8-2. and two. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line, and the favorite winning these games by multiple runs, laying a run and a half on the run line, are 6-4. and four. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including the game that they played against each other today. The under is 6-4 in their last 10, and the under 9 is 5-4-1. The last six games that they played against each other, the Red Sox have won. The one game this year, they won 5-4, and then it was 7-5, 5-3, 4-2, 9-5, and 5-3. You have to go back to August 28th of 2020. That's the last time that the Nationals beat the Red Sox. The Red Sox are 6-4 in their last 10. They are 5-1 in their last six. And the under is 8-2 and two in their last 10. The under has hit in the Red Sox last six games that they've been in. Uh, winning 5-2, losing 6-2 to, to the Tigers, and then beating the Tigers 6-3. And then the win today over the Nationals, 5-4. They're on a two-game winning streak. For the Nationals, when this stupid thing wants to load, are 6-4 in their last 10, 3-1 in their last four. And the under is 6-3-1 in their last 10. Beating the A's 8-2, 3-2, and 8-7, and then losing to the Red Sox 5-4. For whatever the reason is, the Red Sox own the Nationals, and I'm just going to roll with the team that dominates another team. Red Sox with the money line, Red Sox laying the runs, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.